In Brazos County news, just this month, there have been four dog bites in Bryan College Station. But since the beginning of the year, there has been over 40. With several wild dogs in our area are just dogs who haven't received a rabies shot. It's important to know how to respond to a dog bite situation. KX HD News reporter Shada Nazapur explains. Erica Escalon has had her dog for almost nine years. Got lucky with mine. She's pretty good, low key. Recently, some people haven't been so lucky with the significant number of animal bites reported. She says this could possibly be avoided if people just paid more attention to their furry friends. Just for people to take more time to take care of their dogs and be better owners for their dogs and for the community. The city ordinance states that all dogs and cats need to be under physical restraint. Those new electronic leashes don't fall under those restrictions. Animal Control Supervisor Maria Wysong says even the most harmless action can trigger an abrupt response. Running tends to elicit a predatory response from a dog and quick movements, the dog's just reacting, maybe it's got spooked, it doesn't realize what's going on and it doesn't holler, hey, stop that, it snaps. And if it happens to catch that person, then there's an animal incident. Police also recommend to walk by the dog and let both the dog owner and the pet know that you are coming up behind them. That helps alleviate any bad reactions. I might know my dog, but she might feel intimidated by someone else and she could go up there and bite him just uh, for protecting me or protecting herself. And uh, so every time I'm outside of a fenced area or walking down the street, I always have her on a leash. So unless we could keep people and pets separate, we're never going to be able to stop bites. It's going to happen. But it can be reduced if you're smart about the situation and prepared for it. In College Station, Shaden Azifpour, KX HD News.